here, leaving tomorrow morning, and just kind of showing a little bit of uh, what I'm taking, just to kind of get a video out there. I haven't seen like a full video of like a week-long bicycle tour, kind of both half and half uh, camping and um, hotels or bed and breakfasts. Uh, I'm going with uh, uh, the girlfriend, and she uh, she's gonna stay. She wants to stay in some hotels and everything, so. We're going to relax and have a sort of vacation with it too, but we're going to camp out the other half of the time. Um, yeah, I haven't made very many of these videos, so I'm going to try to make it um, two parts, about ten minutes long each, but we'll see what happens here. I'm going to go through it pretty quickly, but uh, this is just kind of what I've put together in the last couple days of what, uh, what I'm taking with me. Um, the weather is fall. Um, supposed to be between 50 and 60 degrees with a couple days of rain and some wind the trip so this is kind of what I'm taking for that and uh, also to make this uh, a vacation just to kind of be comfortable along the way too so um, kind of just get started that way um, I guess I'll get started just kind of over here uh, book and a little journal pen that sort of thing take with me to keep me occupied. Um, a little toiletry bag, um, just some shampoo in there. So it's going to get messy along the way, but this is the only bottle I had. So there's that. Um, deodorant, toothbrush, and toothpaste. That all fits in that bag there. Um, seat cover for my brook saddle. I don't know why that's sitting over here. It is. Um, extra batteries. Just uh, have enough for replacing one of our taillights, um, also mine or Jessica's headlamp. So uh, that's just what I brought there. Um, I don't even know if that's the right way to store it or anything. I didn't really look into it. I just saw that I needed batteries. Um, chamois butter and uh, sunscreen in there. So little squeeze bottles. That'll be nice. Um, I need broken. So, that'll come in handy after day two or three, we'll start to use that extra tent stakes. I have more in my tent, but uh, I didn't want to unpack it and repack it back up with these in it. Plus, um, I'm also carrying a tarp uh, for when it gets, if it gets rainy and we're out camping, we kind of want to have some shelter. It's about a 10, it's like an 8 by 10 tarp, I think, and just cheap. I bought it for... Uh, five bucks and it's not going to last very long but it'll last a trip so that's what I'm expecting with that um, oh the tent stakes are to help tie down the tarp that's the idea with that and I have a bunch of extra rope um, that I don't remember where I put I think it's in here which I'll pull out later um, but yeah so that'll just make some shelter when we're out there and it weighs maybe a pound um, so, headlamp, old headlamp from uh, Black Diamond. I really like it. I've um, had good luck with it. It's, I've had it for about six years and it's still going. There's many more efficient headlamps out there now, but this is, uh, this is still going, so I don't really see why I would not replace it. Um, carry lithium ion batteries in there, and it burns for quite a long time. But it's just, this thing's worn out and it's still going. I mean, there's part of this that's actually broken on part of the hinge that the battery opens up, and it's fine. All the elastic is just completely stretched out. It doesn't really squeeze on my head anymore. It just barely fits there. Um, I actually had to sew it a little bit smaller at one point, if I remember. But it's, it's nice. It has a spot mode, uh, like a, a flood mode there for camp, and then a spot for when you need to see where, like something really far away. So that's nice. A uh, little emergency blanket thing. I highly doubt we're going to need to use that for any reason, but I figured I'd bring it with me. Um, I have more trash bags in one of my panniers already. Um, just for covering up panniers if it starts pouring down rain. I won't use them unless it's really raining really hard, because in my experience, and it takes a lot to get through uh, any of the panniers on the bikes. So I'll use them if I absolutely have to, but I'm not really expecting to. Um, spatula and spoon thing um, just to, for cooking and then in the uh, 
in the cooking kit here. And this is kind of something I've been putting together is I'm kind of anal about organization. So um, I like to know where things are all the time and have everything organized. So this is our little campsite kit. Um, so this is kind of what we will, like this is something if we're out camping, we'll need it, we'll need everything in here. But if we're at a hotel or a bed and breakfast, we're not going to need anything in here, so I don't have to mess with any of it and get in there. Um, so I kind of like that idea. And that's kind of along the same ideas, like, organization-wise. Um, this little pack here, I'll show you that next. This is our little, like, tool kit, uh, safety pouch, there's survival kit, and in case we cut ourselves or need to get tweezers or fix something. Everything's in here, so this is, like, the oh shit bag. Um, I almost wrote that on the side, like, we're only going to really have to get in here in case something actually wrong happens, but it's kind of nice to have everything for that right there, so you know exactly where to look. It's just easier to kind of keep your mind clear and everything when you're out there, just kind of have everything in one spot. So that's like, that's the oh shit bag, and then this is our campsite, kind of, this is everything that's going to come out on the picnic table when we get to the campsite. I'm going to open it up here. starter stuff. Uh, these are cotton balls with uh, Vaseline rubbed into them. Um, super cheap and I have enough Vaseline and cotton balls left over to make another 200 of these things. Um, they burn for about three minutes each and they light really fast. You can light them with just one of those little flint things very easily. Um, bug spray? Yeah, that's pretty straightforward. Um, I'll go back to these real quick. Um, these are nice just to kind of, you know, you could do it without them, but it's just going to be a lot easier to get a bunch of kindling, light one of these things up, throw it in the, in the middle of it, and, um, they don't burn big, but it gets some fire on it right away to help start drying the wood out, and I've made enough fires without using any sort of fire starter that I'm okay with using a little bit of help, and it's kind of nice because there's something I made here, I didn't buy anything really specifically for it, just kind of made it and it works really well. Um, in here, this the, we have the MSR Alpine 2 cook set, but usually you only take two of the three pans that it comes with. Um, frying eggs and a plate on that one. Um, my silverware, this is the silverware that I like and I just added the knife to it. Um, I saw this at the camping store and I thought it just made a lot of sense, but it's just a cheap Coglin set I've had for years. Um, and then the knife is, I can't remember what it's called, um, but it's from Buck, and it's just stainless steel, and actually fits really nicely in your hand, and I just, it felt just like a cooking knife, like a paring knife, or um, just a good all-around kitchen knife when I held it, and yeah, I mean, nothing too strong or utility, I mean, you could, it's sharp enough that it you can do a lot of other stuff with it, but I just thought it fit, fit really nice in the uh, little kitchen set here. And it comes with uh, a sheath and fits nicely in there. And yeah, I just put that right in the, uh, the sheath and it fits with the rest of my silverware. So I like that. Um, soap for cleaning up dishes, which is probably way too much soap in the need. Um, lighter, of course. Um, this Starbucks coffee stuff, which you just fit into hot water. You just put in hot water. Um, it doesn't even have to be like boiling or anything. So like last time I used it, um, I just woke up and there was a bunch of coals in the fire. Um, so I took my clean canteen, threw it in there, heated up the water, and uh, just put the coffee in there. So it was like super simple before, I don't really like 
cooking or heating up water in the morning. I like to just kind of get on the bike. So it was nice to kind of just have my clean canteen warming up water while in, in the coals of the fire from the night before. And then I just added this to it. And then I just drank it and got on the bike. So it wasn't, I never set up a stove or anything. I just kind of, that's another reason why I carry the stainless steel clean canteens. Um, got a bunch of those in there. Um, salt and pepper. So foil for the MSR Whisper Light International. I use white gas, uh, which is on the bike there. And yeah, so I use white gas. It's pretty clean, but it still gets some, uh, some charcoal stuff or some soot, I guess, all over the stove. You get it on your hands and stuff, but that's okay. Um, oil. Um, don't think that's spilling in there. It looks like it may have, but it's not much. If it is, it's leaking very slowly, so I don't mind. Um, this little scraper thing to help scrape the pans out and a little spatula. It's kind of nice. I got that as a gift. So, it's nice. Um, and that's all in our, our cooking kit. And from there, we're going to cook a lot of things that are just simple, like add water to. And things like instant mashed potatoes and couscous and that sort of thing we're going to take with us. I haven't finally, I haven't really gotten that yet all put together. Okay, so there's that. Um, next little kit here, the safety kit that I have. Um, I guess I'm going to wait till part two. Um, I'm going to open that up. I'm going to stop here for a second and go to part two. So, all right, we'll wait for that.